Hello, artists. Today we're going to do a project based on the work of African American artist Aaron Douglas. Aaron Douglas was a painter and illustrator who was very influential during the Harlem Renaissance in the 1920s and 1930s. He made a lot of pictures that had African and Egyptian influence. He also used value to create space in his picture. And all of his figures were done in silhouette, which was very different for the time. You can see in this picture that he's used different values of the same color to create the illusion of space and to create a lot of movement in his uh, picture. So as you can see here, there are a lot of lines and curves that intersect the picture. And those are done in a lighter value of the color green than the background here. His silhouettes of figures were always done in the foreground for the most part. And so they, they tend to be darker in his paintings. In this painting, once again, you have a very limited color palette of reds and greens, but you can see the Egyptian influence here. There's an actual Egyptian pharaoh head here and a pyramid in the background. The people in the foreground, again, are in silhouette and they are darker in value than the pinkish red buildings in the background. You also notice that there are, are a series of concentric circles that intersect all of of the buildings and people in the photograph. And the beginning of it uh, is this child over here on the side holding a globe. So that's the first circle. And as they go out, they get lighter and lighter. So we'll be using the art elements of line, color, space, and value today for our picture. You're going to need for our picture today, this is what we're going to do. Instead of making figures, we're going to make hearts. Um, you're going to be using colored pencils and you'll also need your regular pencil. So if you notice in my picture here, I started with a heart in the middle. Uh, that's going to be the concentric background. So I made uh, hearts getting bigger and bigger as I went along. These hearts are in the foreground, so they are the darkest. And as the hearts go backwards, they start getting lighter in value. So the first thing you need to do is come up with what kind of color palette you would like to use. Aaron Douglas liked to use basically mostly two colors. So in this picture, it's reds and greens. And in this picture, it's purples and greens. So choose two colors that you really uh, like a lot and want to use for your picture. Since I use purples and reds and then uh, yellows, I am going to do something different this time. So here's my paper um, and I'm going to use greens and blues and I tested those on a scrap piece of paper just so I could tell which were the ones that went from dark to light. So as I start to color my picture, I'll have a good idea of how I want to start. The first thing I want to do is to make a small heart in the background. And once I do that, I'm going to continue to make concentric hearts around this heart. Now at some point, my hearts are going to start going off the page. Okay, so this is now going to be my background. This is the same as the yellow that you see in this picture. Now I'm going to make my heart starting with larger ones in the foreground and then medium sized ones in the middle ground and the smallest ones in the background. So as I draw these hearts, you're going to see that uh, this line that's part of the concentric heart intersects this, and we do want that. You can also have your hearts overlap, and they don't have to be full. They can go off the page, especially at the bottom. So 
So I'm going to consider all of these hearts, the hearts in the foreground, and they're going to be darker than the hearts now that I'm going to make floating up. So as I go, I also want to make sure that some of them intersect and some of them can be on their own without intersecting these concentric lines. And I want them to start getting smaller as they head towards the background, the top of my paper. Okay, I want to leave this heart in the middle uh, without having an overlapping heart because that's the one that is, is kind of the beginning of the concentric hearts. So the first thing I'm going to do is color my background. So I have one, two, three, four, five different areas in the concentric heart. So I want to start with my lightest color and I'm going to make this background this time blue. So I will, I'm going to color in this heart a solid blue. And this is the lightest blue in my box of colored pencils. Okay, so I want to color that in all the way. My next concentric heart is right here. So I want to color that in with the next lightest color in my box of pencils. And like I said before, you can choose two different colors that you like. Um, the colors that are the least in my box of pencils were yellow and I chose yellow for my background. However, um, you can also blend pencils to make a new color if you want to. So I had to blend pencils for my yellow. So I'm gonna color that all in. And I'm doing this quickly so that you can see how this works, but I will go back later and I will go back over my colors just so that they're a little bit neater looking. All right, so now I'm going to choose a new color. And I want to skip over these hearts because these hearts are going to be a different color from my background. Make sure I'm not coloring the heart. I will go back and make the background neater, but I just want to make sure that I'm filling it in so I know the difference between my concentric heart background and the hearts that are floating in my picture. Okay. So I need two more blues. And since there aren't two more blues in my box, now I'm going to need to mix colors. So I'm going to use the color that I just used one more time. And I'm going to go over this area. avoiding the floating hearts. And I will go back and neaten this up so that you're not going to see as much white space in between my pencil. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my darkest color, which is just flat out blue. And I'm going to add that on top. And that's going to darken this other blue, this light blue. So blending these two together to make a new color, which is something that you might have to do as well in your picture. And it's actually kind of fun to make a new color. So I would do this all the way around, but I'm gonna hurry and finish this part.
And once again, I'll come back and make this neater later. All right, now this is the last color. So I'm just going to add it to the background. And you really don't want this much white paper showing through. You really want to make this pretty solid, but I'm rushing right now so that you can see how this works. Okay, so that's that side. Now, don't forget that sometimes you can see these colors between the hearts. So make sure you're making your background down at the bottom in between the hearts. Now for my hearts, I'm going to now choose the color green. The hearts in the foreground, the ones I'm coloring around right now, uh, should be the darkest. And so I'm actually going to add some black and some gray into uh, these hearts as I'm coloring them. So I'm going to choose my darkest green, which in my uh, box of colors is pine green. And then I have black and I have dark gray. So I'm going to start using these colors uh, for these hearts that are in the foreground. Now, I also want to pay attention to where these lines intersect. So I'm going to make them a uh, different value. So because this is the beginning of my heart and it's closest to me, I'm going to make that black. And once again, I want to really color it solidly. Right now I'm rushing so that I can show you how to do this. The next one, the next section right here, I am going to make gray because we're getting lighter in value as we go along. And then the last section, I'm going to make pine green. This heart is in the a foreground as well, but I am going to make this one a solid pine green because it doesn't, it's not intersected by any of the concentric heart lines. This one is also, uh, I consider in the foreground, so I am going to make part of it gray. and part of it pine green. This one is also in the foreground. It's the biggest heart. I'm going to make the bottom portion of it black. And where it's intersected here, I'm going to add gray because it's lighter. Once again, you're going to make this a lot neater and take your time. And then the last one is pine green. So all of my hearts in the foreground, I'm going to treat exactly like that. I'm going to look where they intersect. Uh, for instance, this one, I would make black here and I would make gray here, I'd make this pine green. This one, I'm going to make gray and pine green. This one, I would make pine green. This one, I would make pine green. But I'm going to now move up to the next section and uh, use my next darkest color and start on these hearts. Now this is intersected here, so I am not gonna color that in right there, but I am gonna color this one. and I'm going to color this one. Okay, so now I'm gonna jump to my next color and I'm going to color the side of this one and maybe this little one up here. This one. I 
and here. Okay, and then I'm going to my next slide is color and just color some more of these hearts in. If it doesn't have a line intersecting it, then you're just going to color it solid. And then my last color. These have lines intersecting them. So I'll go ahead and add this darker green at the bottom. All right, so this is basically it. Uh, you want to make sure you're paying attention to where your lines are being, uh, your hearts are being intersected. The background needs to start with the lightest color and go to the darkest color. And then in the foreground, you're going to start with the darker colors and go to the lightest colors. I hope you enjoyed this project based on the beautiful artwork of Erin Douglas. That's all for today, artists.